I'm just going to run you through the new Bait Tech Envy range we're bringing out. Uh, we've got a dark one and a red one. And the thing I like about these is the break up time on them. It's really quick and it's because of the different size particles in it all, which I think when you're fishing the reservoirs, which is I think this black one's going to be brilliant for, and the commercials, I think when you're putting bait in, you want your ground bait to break up really quick. And so I think this stuff's going to come be really good this year. So we're just going to mix it out. It's mixing up easy, just like any other ground bait. I'm just going to put, I ain't using too much today because um, obviously we're still in winter. So a bit of black. You can mix it up, whatever mixtures you want, that's easy, that's up to you. Just got to experiment with them all the time, see what you come up with, which is best. But today, because it's the first time I've used it because of lockdown, I haven't been fishing much. I'm just going to do a bit of 50 50 of each and just see what happens. Hopefully, get a few bites. Roughly 50 50, I'm not into measuring and all that. Right, so I'm going to just mix that dry first, like normal with your ground baits. Right, just add water, a little bit of time like normal. What I'm going to try and do with this is do, I'm going to use the same mix on the pole and the feeder and the method. So I want a dryish mix and then I'm going to wet it up a bit more, that first mix, for the pole. So if you're going to use it on the feeder, you may as well use it on the pole. If they eat it on the feeder, they're going to eat it on the pole. I'm just going to mix that up, nice and dry to start with, and then like every other ground bait, just got to give it 10-15 minutes just to settle down, and then you just got to fill your way into it really. Right, that's our 15 minutes up. It's just started raining, which is nice. So I'm going to just add a bit more water now to this. I'm going to keep it dry the first mix because of the. Uh, I want to use this in the feeder. It's a bit of water this. All right, that should be. About right for the feeder method and the ground bait feeder. I don't like using whisks. The drills on um, commercials. Right, so I'm going to run this through the riddle as normal. Right, that's nice and dryish. That one. What I want to do is take enough out for the pole. So we ain't gonna need you ain't gonna need loads on a day like this. It's been fro this place was frozen six days ago now. So the water's gonna be really cold, so we ain't gonna be feeding much today. I just want to add a bit more water to this from a this will be from a pole mix now. So a bit more stodgy because we're gonna put a few maggots and a few micros and bits in it. But the feeder one you want nice and dry so it comes out the feeder real quick or off the method really quick. So I'm just going to put that one through the riddle again. So we've got just to get a bit of air into it. Let me see that. We're going to have to keep this dry now, aren't we? Because of the rain's coming. Well, as you can see, that's a bit wetter. So we'll just push that through. Like I said, the good thing about this ground, mate, is it breaks up really quick of the different size particles in it so we don't want it we don't want it going down and being all craggy and just staying a ball we want it to go down break up and make an error i might even put some in loose in a loose pot today it's about five foot deep where we're fishing so i could get away with that so we're gonna add some bait and then get a bit of fishing done i can't wait to catch a fish to be honest it's been so long so let's get fishing right here's my little feeder mix so I'm not going to add anything to that, I'm going to wait till we start fishing and then I can add more or less maggots, micros, whatever you want to put through it. So I'm just going to add a little bit at a time as I'm fishing with that one. And then the, uh, the pole mix, I'm just going to get enough for a couple of balls out because I don't want to feed too much at the start. I'm going to put a few micros in it, I'm only going to put any loose offerings in to be honest at the start. We can always add more. Some micros and then some dead maggots. You can put whatever you want in it, but I'm still going to keep that to a minimum, really. What's that in there? 25 maggots? So not great deal. I want the ground bait to attract the fish, and then there not be too much loose offerings in there, you know, so it doesn't overfeed them. So I'm just going to make up a couple of little balls. Not squeeze them hard. Just like that. Let's put that one down. 
That's it. And that'll be my initial feed. Just two little balls to start with. Put them in the same hole. Try and keep it nice and tight. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get some bites because the lake was frozen six days ago. So whether we get any today or not, I don't know. But I hope so because I haven't been out for a couple of three weeks. So let's give it a go. Well, here we go. We're going to put some bait in now. I've got some different types of baits with me today, just a change of hook bait. I'm going to go 14 metres, start off at that. I've got a dolly butt out in case I need to go past it. I'm just going to put them in nice and accurate. Not too much, as I said, because it's been so cold. And hopefully, within half an hour, an hour, we'll get some... Uh, we we'll get some skimmers over it. Been an odd fish topping. But the signs are looking good. I'm just a bit concerned about that. How cold the water's gonna be. Yeah, so that's them two. So that's all I'm gonna feed at the start. And then I'm gonna have a little go on the feeder. I've already put out three little feeder fulls, not much again, five cage feeders, put out three of them at the start. I'm just going to go on that, start with that double maggot and just see what happens. Okay, we've had 40 minutes on a feeder with no bites, so that wasn't good but that was to be expected out after all that ice has gone here and rain and everything else. And, but I've come on the pole where I've fed them two balls and I've topped up with a tiny little ball. And I caught two in a 10 minute spell and nothing. So I topped up again, I caught two more, then nothing. So I topped up another little tiny ball and another look on the feeder with no bites. I've just gone back on the pole. So it's funny because we've had we fed the same stuff on both lines, but we've only had bites on the pole, which is weird really, because it's a big lake, you'd think you'd they'd be a bit further out after how cold it's been and everything. So hopefully that will go under now and we can catch one. And the bites are so finicky, they're like F1 bites, just tiny little dips. Got to have your float dotted right there. If you didn't have it dotted down, you wouldn't see a bite. The only time it's gone under is I missed it. That was very first, very first look. It went under, went went out there, went flew under, missed it, and then didn't get a sign for 20 minutes. So topped up, and then caught. Give it 10 minutes, and then caught one. Dropped it in and caught one. But it's very very difficult fishing. Here we go. We've hooked one. It's not a bad fish in all this one by the feels of it. There he is. Well that took a bit longer than I was hoping but it's unbelievably difficult today. They're so crafty these fish. I'm sure there's more in my peg than I'm catching but crafty. All that ice in there in here and that rain is really Really shut them up. But we're getting some bites now. That's the main thing. Let's have a look at him. He's here. He's a good one. Look at that. Perfect. He's a nice fish, that one. It's a better one. That's him, that. That's him, Dave. Nice one, that. Happy now. Let's have another go, see if we can catch another one. 